Hello, I'm Hayley. I'm brought to you at a weird angle because I am going to be doing my bullet journal spread. Ignore the food, like the clothes and shit behind me. They're not important. <laughs> um, I have to do this because I'm using my clothes horse, so you're not going to really look at the bullet journal. But what I have to say to you is um, I did not use February and I probably won't use March either. So my solution to that is for this spread that I did, I had like this whole setup here and then next month it was just like for the last day of the month, I was just going to do like a little rolling weekly. Instead of that, I ripped the center page out and I'm going to use the Monday spread here for today. And this I'm just going to use as a note page. Like I'm just going to put down whatever the fuck I think about here. Um, and then this here I'm going to do as an ideal day. That way, if I even if I'm not filling out the bullet journal, like I'm still here with the ideal day, you know? Um, literally I'm doing it as bare bones and as simple as possible because I know that I'm not going to use it. Um, I thought we would just like bullet journal together, you know, basic, boring bullet journaling. So if you're interested in bullet journaling yourself, just pull it out, you know, we can do this together. I'm a bit jumpy because the last video that I tried to film, I had an experience and it freaked me out. I don't even like talking about it now because like, what if it happens again? You know, I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, my camera freaked me out and I'm probably going to mention it a bit later on in another vlog. Uh, this is my first time filming since that, so I freaked out a little. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to fill out my ideal day or anything just yet. I'm just going to do a few stickers, a header. And I wanted to talk to you about, I just uploaded a video for Death on the Nile. And I just wanted to come on here and talk to you about my feelings about that movie. Uh, because, like, I read the book, I watched the older movie and all that. And I personally think the older movie was, like, perfect. Like, they couldn't really change anything to make it any better. Um, but this one, it's like... Yikes, like, I really did not like it. Uh, I just felt very much so like they were explaining too much. Like, I felt... Like, at least in the book and in the um, older movie, like, you can kind of infer and guess things. Like, it is quite camp. Like, it's still very um, eccentric. But it didn't feel, like, cheap or, like, too much. And there were scenes in here that just felt, like, too much. Like, I felt like they got rid of the things that I loved and that worked. And then they kept things that I hated and thought could have been improved on. You you know? Just frustrating. I'm so jumpy. Oh, sorry, I had to go find scissors. Um, so basically, like, I just personally thought that it was quite, like, dumbed down. In the sense that, like, I everything that I knew about what was going on was purely because they told me and not because I had done some deduction skills myself. Um, it just, it was like over explained and in some cases overacted. Um, I just really did not like Gal Gadot as the, um, oh shit, I've forgotten her name, but I didn't really like her as like the main female character. Um, Army Hammer, look, I already hated that character to begin with, and then seeing him play it the exact same way, I was like, I'd rather just watch the other movie. <laughs> but it just felt weird, detached. Like, it's high expectations for me to expect it to be historically accurate in this day and age. I just, there were so many things. Like, now, it's been quite a while since I've seen it, so I can't, like, it's not freshly in my mind, but I remember, like, literally, because I finished the movie, and I called my mum just to rant to her, 
And she was like, I'm coming to get you. Do you want food? Because I hadn't eaten yet. So I went and got <laughs> Macca's for food. Um, and I was in the Macca's car park, like in the drive-thru, just whinging and complaining to my sister and my mother about all of the little things. And like... I pretty much said to them, like, if you ever want to watch it, just watch the older version. Like, you'll like it a lot better, because I know I did. Um, I had quite high expectations, but, you know, even if it was a little bit off, I wouldn't have been as upset. But, like, I literally almost fell asleep in this movie. I do not fall asleep in the cinemas. Like, I do not. That's not how my brain works. I can't fall asleep during something playing. And I literally, it was like halfway through and I was like, when this, when is this fucking thing over? Um, and that's partially because of the pacing and the way that things set up. I liked what the one thing that I did like a lot about the older version, like adaptation, was the way things were introduced and how quickly things got from one to the other. And in like a more personable way, whereas this one, like... I have no sympathy or inter like um, emotional attachment to the like three main characters, the like love triangle of sorts, because of the fact that it was set up in a club with all of these people together. It just didn't feel. I didn't it didn't create any connection from the get go. I didn't. I liked. The, the thought of the book and also in the movie is that you they introduce... Oh, fuck, I always forget her name. The person who dies, they introduce her, which is Gal Gadot's character. You meet her first. So you automatically, uh, even though she's like a shit character and like a bad person, you relate with her to an extent because you meet her first. You know, she's the person, the main character. Even though she isn't. She's not the driving force of the character. She's the one who dies. But because of the way they set up the film and the way they set up the book, it's you can't help but feel something for her. The way they've set this up is that the main character is the detective, which it is. He is the main character. He is in Murder on the Orient Express. He is the director of, I think. I think the guy who's acting in it is actually the director of both of those movies. But they've set him up as the main character with this, like, backstory of him being in war and having scars on his face, and that's why he's a sick-ass mustache. And it's like, can't he just have a sick-ass mustache with all of these without showing the battle wounds? Like, and I always, I don't know if this is just my interpretation, um, and also keep in mind I've only read the one book and I do plan on reading more so as I read more my opinion on the, de the detective will change and grow but I personally thought of him more like an asexual character or even a gay character um, and instead they gave him a like romantic love story and it just... They really, like, tried to harp on the fact that this movie was about love. And yes, I did go see it on Valentine's Day, so maybe I was just a little bitter that I've been single as fuck. And I was in a theater with, like, couples. There was one older, like, friend couple. Or they could be lesbian. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't assume. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, there was, like, you know, all couples around. So maybe that was just me being a bit bitter. But they, like over said like they over enunciated that it was about love They're like every single sentence was like it's about love and it's like you could show that without saying it all the fucking time this movie had the issue of show don't tell like they just told everything and didn't actually show much or they would, like, show you, and then they would tell you, which was, like, extra dumbed down. I'm like, you were going to see a detective movie. I want to be able to sit there and pretend like I'm the detective for a bit, and then have it all explained at the end and be like, oh, I picked up that. I didn't pick up that. How did I not see that? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, like, over-explained. Oh, wow. I really need to, like... <laughs> I don't want to hate watch the movie again, like I have one and done, but I do kind of want to watch it again just to like really like pick out what I hated 
And then also, like, on the other hand, find things that I actually did like, because at this point I don't know anything that I liked about this change of adaptation. I feel bad though because like I had such like wanting it to be good, you know, I really wanted it to do well. So yeah, that's how I felt about the movie. Not very good, like at all. Um, I'm not going to shit on people who do enjoy it. Like I do understand to an extent why people would like this. Um, I just was a different type of movie goer. Like I wanted to use my brain a little bit. Um, I didn't want things to be, like, exactly the same, but the things that they did change, I was like, why? Like, that's unnecessary. They changed things like the ending and, like, particular, like, big plot story changes, like, um, why everyone is together, which made it seem like they wanted to revamp it and make it a little bit more interesting so it could have been aimed at older fans but then the things that they kept and and changed like it, it was very like who is this for is this for people who have high respect and love other adaptations and movie and and the book oh, sorry not movie yeah and the book or was it for new audiences like it just felt like things that they changed things that they kept clashed it was like what are you doing? Um, they wanted to make it like a new, fun, different um, take on the story, obviously. But then they kept things that were really fucking boring and bogged the story down. Like, they added things that made me feel like I wish I wasn't watching this right now. It was like almost over-sexualized as well in scenes. And I was like, look, I do not want to watch Army Hammer be disgusting. Like, no thank you. <laughs> I don't find him hot, and I didn't find, like, the character itself to be hot in any way. So, to watch them be, like, over-sexy, I'm like, I don't- Every time this couple's on the screen, I want to turn off the camera. This ain't about love, this is about grossness. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't even know, like, how to say what I'm thinking. Like, I- Some of the things- I've just gone on a tangent, I'm sorry. This wasn't even going to be all that I was going to talk about too much. Like, if you want to watch it, I don't want to, like, absolutely shit on it. It just... After my first watch, I have to re-watch it just so I can find things that I actually liked about it. And I didn't want to leave you guys hanging and be like, Oh, I, you know, make a whole video about how I'm going to go watch this movie later on. And then not tell you what I thought about it on my first impression. Um... I definitely am a uh, picky person, so I should have known that I wouldn't have liked this that much. But I also didn't think that they would change things that, um, like, add things that were unnecessary. I suppose they weren't unnecessary to the grand scheme of the, fra like, movie franchise that they're trying to make. I don't see myself being, um, going to see more. That's a lie, I probably will go to see more. I just don't care. I just wish... <sighs> I like the whole, like, concept of not knowing much about the detective when you first come into it because it isn't a story about him. Shouldn't. We are going to do a fun little um, pop-up thing, but this time we're going to do it on the side. We're going to do, like, a downwards situation. So... I don't know how many spaces do I want to go into. I don't know if I'm going to use these pages because I haven't been bullet journaling much. So I kind of just want to limit it to a few. You know, when I'm in the mood to bullet journal, I will. And when I'm not in the mood, then I won't. So I don't know if I should cut these out or if I should keep them. I need to cover this week up. I'll just put March there. I'll grab like a sticker and some washi tape. This is where I'm going to put my like ideal day list. This is a just a little reflection. Um, I, some goals that I want to hit this month and you know just updating where I'm at because I haven't done that since the beginning of the year and I have not been doing any of my like beginning of the year goals that I've made and I need to start implementing that in my life. I don't mind leaving that bit blank. Uh, this is just a monthly like glance that I'm going to need for things. So like 
yeah <laughs> and then these are just gonna be like to do lists and stuff i'm not filling anything out because that's what i'm gonna use as i use it literally bare minimum bare anything like nothing honestly i'm kind of like should i even upload this video but I didn't really want to do a full bullet journal spread. I just wanted to like talk to you about my thoughts on the movie. And this was just like, you know, a quick thing that I'm going to put up and not think about. I probably won't edit it much either. It's just me unfiltered thoughts about this fucking movie that I didn't like. <laughs> Alright, thank you for uh, watching. Um, And hopefully you guys have a lovely day.